Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm doing a tag video and it is the get to know me tag. I was tagged by uh, Kathy Beauty Care Chats and also Kathy from Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. So if you guys would like to get to know me a little bit more and hear my answers, keep on watching. Okay, so I didn't even realize that I was tagged by two people. I knew Kathy Beauty Care Chats had told me that she was going to tag me, and then later I seen Kathy from Kitty Cat Loves Makeup and hers, and I realized that she tagged me. So I'm going to put links down below to their channel. Please go check them out. All right, there's 50 questions to this, so let's get on the roll. I'm going to turn my little ring light off. What are you wearing? I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans actually today, and the t-shirt has uh, dream of a place far away. Uh, ever been in love? Yes, of course I've been in love and am in love now. Ever had a terrible breakup? Of course, yes. I've had a couple different ter pretty bad break breakups. How tall are you? I am 5'2". Your weight? I am very overweight, and that's all I'm going to say. Any tattoos? Yes, I have one big tattoo on my back, and it is of my great-great-grandmother, who is 16 years of age in the picture, and a Victorian-era uh, dress. I will insert a picture here. And Amy Nicoletto did the tattoo, who was on a whole season of Kat Von D's Ellie Inc. And she's a Jersey girl. She actually was in a shop in New Jersey around the time when I went to Atlantic City on one of my trips and did my tattoo. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, any piercings? No. Actually, I have no piercings whatsoever at all, which is crazy. I know. None. Not even my ears. Uh, OTP, I did get to see what that was, but I couldn't even reference anything to that for me for an answer. So I'm going to skip number eight, OTP. Uh, number nine, favorite shows. Uh, favorite shows as of right now that's playing would be The Big Bang Theory, um, once Upon a Time, which I'm a little bit late on that bandwagon, so I am watching past seasons. Kevin Can Wait, I like that. That's kind of pretty funny. I've been enjoying watching that. Anything paranormal, as you guys know, Ghost Adventures, uh, Kindred Spirits. I don't know if any of you guys were watching uh, Rob Lowe's The Low Files. That was pretty cool. I liked watching that. We've been watching that one, too. And it was kind of cool because on one of the episodes, he goes back to the area and, and house whenever he was in the the uh, movie The Outsiders, which is one of my favorite movies. And, um, but yeah, The Low Files. That was pretty cool. I liked that. Uh, favorite bands? Oh, I like so many groups, so much music. That's so, always so hard for me to pick actually a favorite band. But um, in thinking, probably Def Leppard, uh, Disturbed. I like a lot of the rock and metal. Something You Miss. Hmm. Someone I miss is my dad. I miss him every day, and especially now with Christmas. So he's someone I miss, but something something I miss probably, I'm thinking right now, and I've said this before to many people here, not on YouTube or anything like that, And because I do like my, or I, I always liked the blue Pepsi. If anybody remember the blue Pepsi, like blue raspberry Pepsi, dang it, bring it back. That and the vanilla Pepsi, bring them back. I miss those. Favorite songs. Uh, again, that's so hard to pick. But like right now, I am so into my last five years. My last five years, I've really gotten into techno and trance more. Like I've always been into that music, always, even from the 80s, like when it was kind of coming in that synthesizer, electronic music. I've always been into it, but I really became diehard into it big time now. And probably as most of you guys know, if you're what if you are with me on Facebook, um, I'm into this German DJ Boris. I'm 
funny. Like, I'm like, it is crazy because I am just obsessed listening to him and his music and watching him play and everything. It's just been crazy. And so, like, if I had to pick favorite, because they don't sing, obviously, they play the music, get into the beat. Sometimes there's a little bit of singing in there if they mix mix it up with something. But Grinch is one of the ones on that. And then um, the Joker remake. Uh, but some songs, if I had to think of, The Sound of Silence, The Disturbed remade. Oh, that gets me every time. Like, it, his voice, that powerful voice that he does. Mm, just gets me every time with that song. And oh, I love Zeppelin. A uh, whole lot of love. I love that one. My age, I'm 50. Zodiac sign, I'm Gemini, which is totally me. Quality, quality you look for in a partner. Something that's just down to earth and, you know, somebody you can have fun with, somebody who has a sense of humor. Uh, that's that's kind of the quality I look for, which I feel I found. Favorite quote. That would be my quote that I say at the end of my videos because it's personal. It's a personal meaning to it for me as a quote. There's a lot of quotes I love uh, that I could think of, but for me, a favorite would be that line. And it is going back to, I wasn't very kind to my own self. Like I wasn't very kind to me. I would always put myself down and think negative of everything of me. I don't do that anymore. There's a point where like you have to love yourself. And I always say that's not being conceited if you love yourself. It's actually accepting who you are. Everything, good, bad, flaws, whatever, just all that. So you have to do that. So you have to be yourself. Just be yourself regardless, you know, with your flaws, with your goods, your bads and everything and love yourself and just let the beauty shine through because, you know, like your true beauty, your true you will come through once you're, you know, being yourself and you're loving yourself. That's, that's kind of how I feel. Number 17, favorite actor would be Johnny Depp, Matt Damien, and, but you know what? I really love Meryl Streep for an actress. Um, Nicole Kidman. I love Nicole Kidman too. So a couple, couple men and a couple women there. Favorite color, purple. Uh, I do like pink, pink and purple, but purple is my favorite color. Loud or soft music, both. I, I appreciate all kinds of music, so loud or soft. Where uh, Number 20, where do you go when you are sad? Um, just see myself off in a room like this maybe or something, close the door and just let it all out. Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Probably about 15 to 20 minutes, depending, but 15 or 20 minutes. 22, how long does it take you to get ready? I know my husband's probably going to be sitting, he'd be sitting there saying an hour, but it's actually 30 to 35 minutes, somewhere around there. Ever been in a physical fight? No, but I used to think I would have to be in when I was in high school, which I hate to say, I really didn't like high school at all. I didn't mind when I went to Catholic school for eight years and I went straight into high school and I just didn't have a good experience in high school. Like girls were really mean. Like you ever hear the mean girls? Yeah, there was, yeah, they were, they were pretty nasty. They weren't very nice. And uh, I ended up around the wrong crowd too. So kind of my fault on that part too. So turn on, turn on for me is somebody that you can just sit down and have a good laugh with. And also somebody that is very caring and not just caring to you, yourself like you like as in caring to me but when I see they're very caring to other people very courteous and considerate for other people like honestly my husband opens the door for a lot of different people and I just love that about him he's very you don't see all that a lot of times but he'll hold the door open for people you know when we're going in somewhere turn off somebody who's arrogant cocky to use that language, but the things they're, you know, what don't stink. I always say their crap don't stink, but I say the other word, you know, something that, that just, and somebody that is good looking, but they know they're good looking and they use it in an arrogant way, in the wrong way. It's like I said, one thing to love yourself, but when you get a little too arrogant there and conceited in a, in, on all those kind of things, then that's a big, turn off. My sixth reason I joined YouTube, the reason I joined YouTube was for my love of beauty and not many people around here get me 
when I say, oh my God, that blush is amazing, or oh my God, that lipstick is gorgeous, or I have to have this, or this and this, that people here don't get me. They just don't. They don't understand it or get me. I can, I, I don't really have any friends that get me around here, but you people get me. You all get me out there. You, you get the love of the beauty world. 27, fears. Um, my problem for fears my biggest problem with for fears and my fears are I think way ahead I think of the future instead of the present and like for for anything you shouldn't look in your past too much you know because what it, what was 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 and you can change you know so you should just stick with the present but I often will think ahead too much I always think way ahead like what if this happens what if that happens oh my gosh what am I going to do do when when I get to this point or am I gonna be okay later I do that and that's probably where my that that's the fear I have it's not so much of I'm afraid of other things but some of them have diminished now I think it's just how my life has unfolded and I've gotten stronger on those things you know so just mine is just thinking of the future and what's going to become of certain things now obviously losing somebody yeah that would be a fear too but 28 last thing that made you cry um christmas with the cranks at the very end of that movie i cry every single time tim allen the character he plays he's like a very selfish man and later he comes to realize and find out like the neighbors across from them the, the woman they're like an elderly couple couple and she has cancer and she's you obviously pretty much can guess she's not gonna be there next year and you just you see at the end that giving is better than getting so it's like the whole thing about the gift of giving instead it's pretty emotional <laughs> it gets me when i watch that every time at the end uh 29 last time you said you said you love someone. My husband. That would be my husband. Uh, meaning behind my my YouTube name. I don't know. I just trying to find something that sounded catchy and all that beauty with Lori sounded catchy. But I'm not sure if I'm liking it now. I'm not sure. I have my moments where I want to change it and I'm debating on it. I'm not sure if I can or not. But then I don't know if I want to because I've worked so hard into the name and it's a little bit known out there somewhat. So I don't know. But let me know. Let me let me know. Do you guys like that name still? Do you think I should change it? Give me some options and ideas down below. I would love to hear them. I'm, I'm fine with whatever. You know, you could tell me you think my name's stupid, stinks, whatever. I, I That's fine. I would just, I just want to kind of you know, just see what you guys think. And last book you read, number 31. That would be Memoirs of a Geisha. Uh, number 32, current book you're reading, current book would be uh, I Am Haunted with Zach Bagans, uh, Living Life Through the Dead. So this is pretty, pretty deep, deep in that book. 33, last show you watched, Roseanne. Last person you talked to, my husband. Uh, 35, relationship between you and the last person you text, don't have a phone. 36 favorite food would be Italian or Mexican, one of those two, but I, I love Italian a lot. 37 place you want to visit, oh my goodness, place I want to visit, there's a lot of places. I'd love to go to Manchester, England, um, Ireland, Italy, uh, Germany, Switzerland, and here in America, there's a lot of places like Hawaii, uh, Savannah, Georgia, obviously the old Savannah, Savannah Georgia area, uh, New York. Definitely next year, me and my husband, our 10 year anniversary. Cannot wait, New York City. Last place you were, last place I was at was Atlantic City, New Jersey. Love that place too. I would like to go back because it's just, we were going every year and then I had my hysterectomy and then things kind of, there was a lot going on afterwards. So we really haven't gotten to go for the last few years. But do you have a crush? Not that I can really think of. I mean, you know crush or anything last time you kissed someone my husband last time you were insulted honestly i don't know i don't i don't i just don't let that negativity whatever i just it goes over over my shoulder whatever you know i i i don't know i just don't even bother with that negativity uh favorite favorite flavor of sweet oh has to be the swedish fish 
love Swedish Fish. I love chocolate too, but Swedish Fish, I swear. Oh my goodness. Um, 43. What instruments do you play? I don't play or never played anything, but if I would have, it would have been drums because that's like, I love, the, I love the beat. Like the beat's like the whole thing of, of music in itself. So yeah, yeah. Drums is what I would play. Favorite piece of jewelry? That would be my grandma's engagement ring that my mom gave me when I was 16 years of age. Her and my dad. Last sport you played? I don't really play sports. Um, back in the day, I didn't mind messing around and kind of playing. Like I didn't play professionally, just for fun. Tennis or um, basketball. I used to do that stuff. Just I don't watch basketball. It's funny. I can't get into watching it, but I had fun like shooting hoobies and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, no, I don't really. But if we're talking sport, I love is hockey. Everybody knows I'm a huge hockey not totally hockey nut in penguins pittsburgh penguins is my team so yes go pens <laughs> last song you sang i believe was what child is this i was singing that favorite chat up line you know i kept trying to figure out number 47 a favorite chat up line and i honestly can't think of any chat up lines I, 48 have you ever used it uh no not that i can i do say hey girl so if that's a chat up line, hey girl, or what up, <laughs> I haven't done the what up, <laughs> I get silly sometimes, so that's when that comes out, so if those are any, yeah, okay, 49, last time you hung out with someone, oh, um, gosh, you know, it's been forever, because like my one friend Kelly, we've gone to lunch a couple different times, it's been a while, months, several different months now, number, that was 49, Number 50, who should answer the these next? Any one of you guys, because I know a lot of people have been tagged between all these different people that I've been seeing doing the video. So I'm going to leave that to, if you'd like to do this tag, this sounds like fun and interesting, you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. Love for you to do it. So, and I'll put the questions down below. Thank you, Kathy and Kathy, for tagging me to do this. I had fun. And also, you guys get to know me a little bit more. So if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell. Uh, the bell will notify you and let you know when my videos are ready to be uploaded and ready to watch. And you will get notified, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care i will see you then i love you guys Mwah. bye